Hello everybody. Today our module is going to be PTA academic writing module and a very important aspect that is called writing an essay. How do you write an essay? Let's work out on that. First of all, what is checked in an essay and the skills of writing, where are they added? They are added only in writing. They are not added in any other module, only in writing. Now, there are seven parts of it. Content, form, development structure and coherence, grammar, general linguistic range, vocabulary range and spelling. All of them are for two marks each, except the content, which is for three marks. The total comes out to be 15. Let us understand in detail what is the meaning of a content and what does three mean in a content. Three means that your essay adequately or sufficiently deals with the prompt. Prompt means the topic of the essay. Two, deals with the prompt but does not deal with one minor aspect. One, deals with the prompt but omits one major aspect or more than one minor aspect. Zero, does not deal with the prompt. Form, length is between 200 to 300 words. Length is between 120 and 199, you'll be getting one mark. Or if it is above 300 to 380, you'll be getting one mark. A zero, in case it is less than 120 or more than 380, it's a zero. If it's written in capital words, it's still a zero. If it does not contain any punctuation, it's still a zero. Or if you put the bullet points, it is still a zero. Last but not the least, if they are very short sentences, very, very short sentences, it will be again a zero in form. Development, structure and coherence. You get two. If there is a good development and good logical structure, you get a one in which it is less structured. Zero. If it is not connected at all, if it's disconnected or loosely connected elements are there. Grammar. Again, when do you get a two? If it is consistent in grammar. If it is having little bit of mistakes which lead to misunderstanding it you get one and in case there's a huge dramatic grammatical error or many mistakes you get a zero general linguistic range now if there's a smooth mastery on how do you um, decrease the confusion in the essay that is called as general linguistic range you get two if there is a range, but clear cut expressions are not there, viewpoints are not clear, your arguments are not developed, you get a one and you get zero in case the basic language lacks precision. What is vocabulary range? Again, regular, relevant words, good idiomatic language, good colloquialisms gives you two. You get a one in which the academic topics are there, but the vocabulary is not very good. Get a zero in case the vocabulary is insufficient or is something else. You say have to say something else, you are saying something else. Spelling. You get two if all the spellings are correct. If there is one spelling error, you get one. And if there are more than one spelling errors, you get a zero. Now let's practice this. Let's solve one essay. The environment we live in is in danger due to various problems. What are the underlying causes? Who is responsible to combat this? What measures should be taken? This is a discussion style. Now, the answers to question one causes two and who three measures. This is what we need to do. We need to figure out everything. There are three questions in that we have to answer every question types of essays. Let's start working on this now. Well, there are five types of essays. The first is many people think. The second is it is argued that. The third is do you think. The fourth is benefits and problems. And the fifth is do you agree or disagree. Let us try and identify these essays. Do you agree or disagree that English will become more important to learn as the world becomes more globalized? Think. What is the answer? Okay, the answer is do you agree or disagree? 
Identify the second type. It is argued that attending a full-time undergraduate degree course is less worthwhile nowadays than learning a trade such as labor's la builder's laborer, plumber or electrician. To what extent do you agree or disagree? It is argued. Third type. What are the benefits and problems? You obviously understand this essay. It's benefits and problems. Type number four. Many people think that place you were born affects your success in later life. What is your opinion about relevance of one's place of birth upon future success? Many people think. And the last type is the fifth type. Do you think? And rest of the essay you know. The starting phrase, do you think? So it is do you think kind of an essay. Now let us plan one essay. Know the purpose of your essay, which is very important. Why are you writing the essay? Think about the essay question. Use the right format. Introduction is important. Body is important. And conclusion is important. Let me frame out it for you. And trim your essay in the end so that you revise and make it into a proper format. Now the formula is this. The intro should contain paraphrase and thesis. Paraphrase means writing the essay topic in your own words. Thesis means giving a clear-cut standpoint, your viewpoint about the whole topic. BP1 means body para 1 should contain main point 1, support 1, example 1. And you have to wrap up this para that is called wrap up. Similar is the BP2, main point 2, support 2, example 2 and wrap up. Conclusion, whatever is being asked, conclude that. It's very important. Let us solve this essay first. The majority of television news being reported is bad news. Wars, famines, accidents and crime. Some people think that television news should be a mixture of good and bad news. So now, choose whether you agree or disagree with this statement and discuss why you choose that position. Support your point with view with details of your own experiences, observations, or reading. So now this is all the instructions. What we need to do is we have to agree or disagree to this point. Introduction. Let us plan it out now. First of all, we should be paraphrasing. The media is responsible for the way we receive information from all around the world. Some people think that the news we view should be a mixture of negative current events and ones that represent a better view of humanity. So I've given these two parts. One is paraphrasing and the second is my thesis statement. In this essay, I will argue a balance of positive and negative view news. Items is the best option for us. So I'm choosing a middle path. Agree and disagree. A middle path has been chosen. So this is what the introduction final look would look like. BP1. First, we are going to plan. Let us see how does it work. As human beings, we need a positive view of ourselves portrayed in the media. We need to see models of good human behavior so that we can emulate the behavior in accordance with our value systems. For example, example is coming here. First was the main point, then was a the supporting point, then the example, and last will be the wrap up. For example, displaying humans, treating each other with kindness and respect may lead to an audience acting on those positive ideas. And the last is, by, by reporting positive news stories, we may build a more resilient and robust society. So if you combine it together, this is the final look. You can pause the video here and see what does it look like. Now BP2. Again, the four parts are going to come here. The main point, the supporting point, the example and the wrap up. Let us see the main point. Bad news is often a record of violent and dangerous behavior and actions that are occurring around the world minute by minute. It is a realistic display of the way humans treat each other and showing it on the news reminds us of the dangers that many people face every day. Now the example, for example, continuing wars, political turmoil, incurable diseases, natural disasters are events that are constantly present. Now the wrap up. If we are to solve these problems, we need to be constantly reminded that they exist. When we combine the things together, this is what the final look is going to look like. Then comes a last part called as the conclusion. Now plan the conclusion. This essay has argued that a realistic portrayal of world events may be necessary to remind us daily of the ongoing problems many humans face 
but presenting examples of our positive solutions may bring about a positive change in our society more effectively. In my opinion, the balance of television news should be good rather than bad to be more reflective of current events and more effective in molding society. So I'm partially agreeing to this. I'm not saying it should only be good news or only be bad news. It's a partial agreement that a mixture of both should be there. This gets us to the final look of the conclusion. You can pause the video here and see what does it look like. Thank you so much. Follow this channel, subscribe it, comment it, like it, share it, spread happiness. Thank you so much.